Hello. In this tutorial we are going to control the PWM module with Visuino. First we are going to learn how to control it uh, using the serial window by sending the commands. Then we are going to learn uh, how to send the commands directly from Arduino. So we are going to change the frequency and the duty cycle randomly every second. For this project you will need a PWM module, Arduino board, some jumper wires and Visuino program. Wire everything according to this schematic. Go to Visuino website and download and install Visuino program. Start Visuino and select the board. In our case it is Arduino Uno. First we are going to send the commands directly from the serial monitor. To do that let's add software serial port component. And connect Arduino serial pin out to the software serial 1 pin in. And connect software serial 1 pin out to the Arduino board serial pin in. Now connect pin RX to the Arduino board digital pin 2. And connect pin TX to Arduino board digital pin 3. At the bottom Upload the project and click on the Serial tab, select the port and click Connect. Now to set the frequency, all we need to do is send the uppercase F and type the frequency. In this example we are going to set the frequency to 100 Hz. If the command was understood by the module, we are going to get the response down or fail if the command was not understood. To set the frequency to 1 kHz, what we need to do is send the command F1.00 so the data should be the same as you can see it on the display. For the frequency of 10 kHz, what we need to send is F10.0. On the display you can see the different commands. Now if we want to change the duty cycle, what we do is send the command D050 and it will put the duty cycle to 50%. As you can see it works. Now to read the current frequency and the duty cycle what we need to do is send the command read and we are going to get the current frequency and the duty cycle. To control the module directly with Arduino Let's make a simple experimental project. Uh, let's add two clock generator components. For the first one we will add the frequency 0.5, so every 2 seconds. And for the other one we will leave it at frequency 1 Hz, so 1 pulse per second. And let's add two random integer generators, one will be used for the frequency and one for the duty cycle. In the first random integer generator 1, we are going to set the minimum 1 and max 100. 
this means that we are going to generate the frequency from 1 to 100 and for the random integer generator 2 we are going to set the minimum to 10 and max to 99 so our duty cycle will be from 10 to 99 now we need to convert these integer values to text to do that we are going to use integer to text components i'm going to place two components now we are getting our values in text format but we need to change it to comments to do that we are going to add two formatted text components If we double click on the format text one, the elements window will open and I'm going to drag text element to the left side. Now this text element will receive the value from the integer to text one. Now we need to change this value to the command. To do that, we are going to write in the text value f% percent zero where zero number represents the value from the text element one so if we are going to have the value 10 the final value will be f10 the same approach we are going to use for the duty cycle in the formatted text 2 we are going to add the text element and under the text value we are going to write the D0% %0. So the final output will be D0 and the value in our example let's say 50. So D0 50. Let's add software serial port component. Now let's connect all the components. Now if we upload the project, we are going to see how the frequency and the duty cycle changes every second. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it will help you in your future projects and see you in the next video.